What's up guys? LL here and I'm back for another video this time around I'm covering Hayburner versus Tamahome for a smog on snake draft and looking at these teams at team preview Hayburner's got a standard Mega Alakazam bulky offense with Specs Ashgren, Scarf Lando, AV, not AV Magirna, sorry, Shift Gear Magirna with Fleur Focus, Timid Zam with Shadow Ball, Spadef Heatran with Rocks, Lava Plume, Roar, and Toxic, and then rounding it out with an AV Tangrowth. And Tamahome has a more balanced oriented team that centers around a CM Megalodios, likely Bolt Beam here I'd say, but it can be Calm Mind Stored Power. And then there's a Rocks Clefable, Offensive Heatran, Defog Tornadus T, T Spikes Toxapex, and a CB Zygarde ending off his team it appears. Looking at this game, Hayburner's Mega Alakazam just blows through Tamahome's team. A possible T-Wave Clefable with some Spadef investment could be problematic, but that's really the only thing on Tamahome's team that can stand up to Magirna. I suppose he could check it with CV Zygarde as it can KO Zam with some chip or put it into range of one of its teammates, but it's really not that great an answer in general. And then alternatively, the CM Megalodios from Tamahome's team could be problematic if he can knock out Hayburner's Heatran and heavily weaken the Migrina. But hey, it's unlikely to do very well this game. Because Magirna can set up alongside Megalodios and then KO it at any time. And starting off the battle, if I were Hayburner, I would personally lead off with either the Heatran, predicting something that does it that does well against Zam, likely Clefable. Just because like the Zam is such a threat to, hum to Tomahome that he doesn't want it to get in early and start firing attacks. He's gonna lead off with something that makes it, that forces it out. At least he should. So that's why he trends such a good one lead to take advantage of the Clefable to get up rocks and the such. Because Clefable is not gonna stay in. Well, Clefable could very well stay in turn one because, but for the most part, it's like you have the advantage at lead. Heatran does also cover a possible Tornadus lead, anticipating a uh, Tangrowth slash Landorus lead. And that's actually exactly what happens here. So now hey, uh, Hayburner can get up his rocks or get off a Toxic. He has to be wary of a potential Z focus as Tamahome's team doesn't really deal with Mega Mawile all too well aside from Heatran. So Z focus does make sense here, so either I think you either toxic the tornadoes here to cripple it after a potential Z focus, and that also covers the pivot into Zygarde, or you just get up your rocks. And he does reveal Z focus right here, so that does 71 to Heatran because it's Spadef, so it doesn't really take too much. And then Hayburner should probably pivot out to Lando to scout for focus, and Tomahome just automatically goes for the knockoff trying to cripple the Heatran because it's one of the main things stopping CM Megalodios, assuming it's Bolt Beam. And Hayburner just pivots out with a U-turn on the Hurricane and can come in with Zam and just start firing off Psychics. But Tom Hummel it has a chance of just predicting that and going into his Heatran. And I think it's actually Scarf Heatran on that team just because there's nothing else that can really viably run Scarf. And it's just a nice check to Kartana and other similar mons. Now that now Haven is in a pretty good position, but he goes out to Heatran smartly to scout the T-Wave, as Zam getting T-Waved is really bad for him. He does get paralyzed here, but that doesn't matter too much, as he can just set up rocks now. And he's probably just gonna pivot into the Mega Alakazam, trying to take advantage of the Tox effects and put pressure on Tomahome as that but alternatively he could just fish 
with Lava Plume, but no, he does just go straight to Zam, and Tamahome smartly doubles into the Clefable, forcing out the Alakazam yet again. So now Hayburner can likely go into his, either his Landris T as a sack, as Tamahome goes for the T-Wave. This is Explosion Landris T on this team, so he's likely just going to do that here to either get some chip on Clef or take out the incoming Tornadus, which is very good because it ensures his rocks are up for the duration of the game. But it, which means that the Mega Latias won't just be able to pivot in and out as it pleases. And Hayburner does predict the incoming Zygarde with his Tangrowth because Zygarde pressures Heatran and Zam, which are both the things that he can pivot into to pressure the, the Latias. And he just throws a knockoff out to cripple something on the switch and removes Toxapex's Black Sludge. And then he goes into Zam on the Toxapex as Tom Mahome once again doubles the Cliff Label. And this time he does throw out a T Wave again. Seeing as Hayburner doesn't really have something else to directly pivot into the Cliff Fables T Wave, he's just going to throw out a Lava Plume. He does get the burn on Toxapex, which is very good because without its lefties, that means it's going to be getting worn down pretty quickly. And Tamahome sees this and just throws up a T-Spike to try and set the field to win with Megalodios later. And Hayburner just throws out a Psychic and does 54 to the Zygarde. Technically Zygarde's Extreme Speed doesn't kill from this range, but then if you keep it in to kill the Zygarde, Zam will be hard pressed to switch into anything else later this game. So he's probably just going to either go into Tangrowth, or sack the Heatran because it's pretty much useless right now. And he does just go into the Tangrowth here. And he's probably just gonna throw out a Giga Drain seeing as he, he's at 50% and wants to recover something. And now, Hayburner does stay in once again and just knocks off the Clefable to make it harder for it to stay in range to check Zam and T-Wave it. And Hayburner does go directly into Heatran here. And he's just gonna throw out a Lava Plume on the Moonblast most likely. Yes, that's exactly what he does. So he swaps back out to Mega Alakazam. And this poison is actually good for Hayburner. Because it means his Alakazam can't get T-Waved. And he's traced the Clefable's Magic Guard. So he won't get damaged by T-Spikes while he's in. So he does recover again to get himself into a comfortable range. And does just... Psychic the Clefable so it doesn't get a chance to heal. The Zygarde can now Oko the Zam with E Speed, but Tangrowth's a little low. So Hayburner is probably just going to pivot into Heatran here to threaten out the Z to not threaten out the Zygarde, but kind of just like sacking it so he can get in the packs for free. Not packs, sorry. Tangrowth. He does take the E Speed, fishes for a Plume Burn, and gets it. So that means the Zygarde is dead to rocks if it wants to switch out. So he's probably just gonna, yup, he sacks it. And Hayburner gets paralyzed there, which, you know, doesn't really matter all that much. And here Hayburner's probably gonna go for a Toxic as the Latias goes for Calm Mind. And he gets paralyzed, meaning that this Latias is gonna be much more irritating to deal with, but. He can set up alongside it with Shiftier Magirna, as I said earlier. So he Shiftier's up here, and he Calm Minds. He just has to get to plus three to be able to 2 it KO the Toxapex with Z Fluor into a regular Fluor Cannon, which is basically like a checkmate position. So if I'm Tomahome, I would go straight into Pex here to try and reset the cycle and get yourself more favorable conditions later on with like a potential T-Bolt pair on the switch with Latios or something of that sort. But we'll see what he does. This is probably the biggest turn in the game because yep, Hayburner does see him here as Tom Mahome calm mind. So now Hayburner can just throw off a Z-Floor and either knock out the Latias and with, win with Zam, or get the Z-Floor off on the Pex and win with Magirna. And the Twinkle Tackle knocks the Latias out cleanly. He, and yup, Hayburn drops the GG in the chat because this game is over. Mega Alakazam does clean up the Toxapex if the Magirna misses Fluor Cannons, which it 
So this is a really well played game by Hayburner. And I think it really shows how these Mega Alakazam bulky offenses with spike stacking from Gran and the Heatran and Shift Gear Magirna. It's just like a really solid core with pressure on more defensive teams with spikes and Zam, as well as Zam and Magirna to pressure the teams that aren't as bulky. Personally, I would run a more offensive Heatran on this build just because it seems weak to stall. But when um, discussing the team with Hayburner, and we realized that Tomahom doesn't really use stall, so it would have a good matchup against him. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.